Hey there, let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals in the AFC North. So you don't have to go that far back uh, to a time when people around the NFL would talk about the Bengals having one of the best rosters in the league. They've made the playoffs five straight years, uh, but they missed and wasted their window. They didn't uh, win a playoff game in that period under Marvin Lewis. Uh, and really, when you look at what they did, they underachieved very, very badly. And now, uh, after back-to-back -back losing seasons, I think the Bengals are, are middle of the pack at best. Uh, with a lot to prove you know there's still some players there you can work with and uh, exploit the opposition and it makes the Bengals a dangerous team uh, but it doesn't make them uh, a playoff team in my mind I think their offensive line was was poor last year if we start up front with with that uh, they did address that area with Cordy Glenn with Billy Price uh, through the draft so that should be good news for Andy Dalton and you know the clock is ticking for, for Andy Dalton uh, he's going to soon run out of time to prove that he can be something more than just middle of the road uh, and average uh, you know i don't think he's really been much much more than than that obviously getting sacked a lot uh, will do that to you joe mixon uh, impressed as a rookie running back and you've still got aj green of course john ross is gonna have to show us something uh, on defense yeah i think the bengals are quietly confident about that side of the ball um, you've got Terrell Austin in a, a, a coordinator, you've got Geno Atkins uh, providing the pressure up front, Carlos Dunlap can still do that, uh, and I think there's some players that need to create more splash plays, more turnovers are needed, just 14 turnovers last year, so um, you know, that again across the board, you can pick out individuals with the Bengals that could make an impact, but not enough team-wide for me uh, to have them be anything more than a wild card dark horse, and that might be being a bit generous. More on the Bengals and other teams, check out the annual Gridiron Bookazine.